musicians performing Arabic music at the restaurant Le Souk. I'm uh, Lebanese American and I've been playing for uh, 40 years and I played all over the world basically um, in Europe, in uh, South America, North America. How did you come to become a professional musician? Um, my parents were professional dancers and I grew up with music around them. They were in New York after the after Second World War and they were involved mostly in Latin and ballroom. You have to make a living. Right. Um, and it really wasn't that large a call for anything oriented Middle Eastern. Um, and myself, I started off from 10 to 20 years old playing blues and jazz. I was living in Rochester, New York, and Omar Farouk Tekbilek uh, moved in. This is in the late 70s, and we became friends. I also became friends with some other Greek musicians around, and we had different people of, of that um, ethnic backgrounds, we started to play together, we started to, you know, produce what we had heard growing up. Uh, I'm in the middle of producing uh, the first CD, it's featuring uh, Maurice Shadid, who I play with in here. It also has uh, Omar Farouk Tekbilek is involved, and uh, Lefteris Bonyas, and various other musicians. I've played for probably thousands of dancers over the years. I always felt that a uh, dancer's body is an instrument just the same as my drum is an instrument. And if they're proficient at their instrument, then it works. American popular music in general has always been changed by a different ethnic influence. Go back to jazz with the blacks and the Latin craze and reggae and different ethnic groups have always become an influence, particularly when they become large parts of the population. Um, and probably one part of the world that has not had that much influence and it's coming in now is the Eastern Mediterranean and the Arabic world. And it's becoming more and more important. Music itself uh, needs to change right now because uh, there's not a lot happening with the popular music. So people are grasping whatever they can that's different. I love the music since I was a little kid, of course. I'm from uh, Lebanon, I was born in Lebanon. And, uh, well, I, uh, after I finished my high school, I went to the conservatory, you know, I started, uh, you know, so I studied there and I started playing at the meantime. And I, I play, first I started playing with big name singers, you know, big names, you know. And then uh, I decided, you know, uh, I have a voice, I mean, you know, I could sing myself. So, I started singing and uh, did some recordings back there. And uh, was on some TV shows, popular TV shows. I toured uh, all over the world almost uh, with the Lebanese uh, folkloric uh, touristic group. Um, you know, what else do you want to ask me? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I heard they say about you that you know 2,000 songs and they're all in your head. Is this true? Well, uh, they're 2010 probably now since they told you. <laughs> The job or the dancing? Well, the uh, the dance, the love of the dance came first. Then I got the job and I was able to perform the love of the dance. I learned about Middle Eastern dance when I was about eight years old. I was in a ballet class and we watched a film on belly dancers. And ever since then, I loved belly dancing. But my mother said no. <laughs> yeah. So I had.
had to. Well, uh, she said no because it showed too much of the body. Uh, we're not Muslim, but our faith is very close to that. So then when I grew up, I started to read about it, you know, to study it. It seems like a very, like a celebration of dance. And I just, I'm always in a good mood, it seems like. And I love to express, I love to express myself through dance. So I, I couldn't figure out a better way to do it than belly dancing.